In this video, athletes and competitors will discover the power of a growth mindset to improve performance. So what is a growth mindset for athletes? You know, it never ceases to amaze me how a small percentage of the general sports world there is that really takes advantage of developing their mental skills. I've conducted numerous workshops for youth sports teams and coaches over the years teaching mental toughness skills. And in my workshops, there's always some athletes that they like hang on every word I say. They ask questions, they participate, they take notes, and I can see that they are paying attention to everything we do in the workshop. That's a growth mindset. And then there's those other athletes that are somewhat less engaged than Oh, maybe when like watching a television commercial at home on their couch in those workshops. Here's a case in point. A volleyball camp hired me to teach their players mental toughness for two hours at the end of their camp. There were about 30 players that had gone through two days of volleyball skills training. And so that's what I prepared for. Only six players out of those 30 stayed those last two hours to learn mental toughness from me and the rest went home didn't cost them anything else except their time. Can you believe that? There was no extra charge. It was part of the camp. They went home. But those that stayed, those six, that's the growth mindset. It seems that old school prevailing attitude there that's in sports that says all you have to do to reach your goals and, and potentials, just have a good teacher, practice the fundamental skills, do it repetitively, work hard, get your physical conditioning at its peak. That's all you need. <sighs> Wrong. The real tragedy here is this old school attitude. It's so much promoted by coaches these days still in this day and age. And, and while that may have been true about just hard work is all there is a couple of generations ago, today the competition is so much more fierce. There's so many more tools and resources at an athlete's disposal than ever before, including me. You snooze, you lose these days. And by the way, this applies to coaches just the same. Quote, one of my favorite quotes. I'm not young enough to know everything. Oscar Wilde. So what's the difference between these two types of mindsets, these two types of athletes? The growth mindset means your dominant thinking patterns sent around something like, what else can I learn or do to improve my ability to achieve my goals? And the good news for you, if you do have such a growth mindset, is that you can go out to your competition knowing that you have a huge advantage over those that don't have this or, or approach this. And you can use this fact to build your confidence, if nothing else. And this is exactly how I was, and still am, able to compete as an undersized athlete my entire life. Growing your mind, it's not just about expanding your knowledge about a topic you're interested in. It's about expanding your understanding of yourself in the process of getting your desired goals. In other words, it's constantly asking yourself things like, what's holding me back? Who knows more than me that I can learn from? What is it about me that I can keep making that kind of mistake and what do I need to do to correct it? What am I not even aware of about me that maybe somebody can help me? Athletes with a growth mindset understand this concept very well. Here it is. The more you know, the more you realize how little you know. Now this doesn't just apply to sports, it applies to everything in life. You can keep yourself in your little box of thinking by believing you already know everything you need to know, or you can commit to yourself right now that you're not only open to new knowledge, but you're going to actively seek knowledge, experiences, and input from others. And the key to adopting this attitude is in being fearless, but that's another topic. Another favorite quote, the only true wisdom is in knowing you know nothing by Socrates. I'm Craig Sigal. Adopt the growth mindset. Let's do this. Subscribe to my YouTube channel.